in continuation with the module 3 that is the next chapter that is the atomization of powder so now in this one we study the first one that is the gas atomization so before that we'll understand what is atomization atomization has been classified into the various categories namely gas water and the centrifugal virtually any material that can be melted and can be made into powders by disintegration of the liquid the process is independent of the normal phys normal physical and mechanical properties associated with the solid materials the method is being widely adopted especially because of the relative cases of making high purity metals and pre-alloyed powders directly from the melt the first one that is gas atomization so the gas atomization or atomizing media or nitrogen argon or air various atomization geometries are used in commercial practice is in what is known as external mixing contact between the atomizing medium and melt takes place outside the respective nozzles this type of mixing is used exclusively for the atomization of metals internal mixing is quite common for the atomization of materials which are liquid at the room temperature the axis of the uh, gets gas gas jet are usually are equally inclined to the melt stream axis and intersect this axis at the geometrical impingement point gas atomized powders are typically spherical with relatively smooth surfaces higher pressure or a smaller jet distance produce finer powder such production method is used for preparing the powders of the super alloy titanium high speed steel and other re reactive metals and is expensive if inert gases other than nitrogen have to be used the second one is the water automation in the water automation automation a high pressure water stream is forced through the nozzle to form a dispersed phase of droplets which then impacts the metal stream in this method the large quantities of energy are required to supply the water at high pressure this production method is significant for low and high alloy steels including stainless steel because of oxide formation water automation is not likely to be used in the automation of highly reactive metals such as titanium and the super alloys in general water automized powders are irregular in shape with rough oxide after oxidized surfaces the next one is liquid gas automation rough company that is the rough company from germany introduced a novel version of the automation in which the melt is atomized with the pressure of the liquid gas is increased up to 500 bar the cryogenic liquid gas uh, is operated at minus 200 degrees centigrade so during this process the liquid the pressure is increased up to the 500 bar while a recooling a unit prevents the temperature from the rising in the in spite of compression and prevents the cryogenic liquid from vaporizing instantaneously at the jet opening and even the stream is generated which atomizes the melt comparatively to water atomization and which cools rapidly since the atomization liquid vaporizes completely gas and powder can be easily separated in the cyclone this the resulting powder has the following properties it is much purer than the powder atomized with the water and can be compared to the quality of the gas atomized powder the cooling rate is 
10 times higher than the gas uh, gas atomization and almost reaches the quality of the water atomization particles of 100 micrometer diameter for example are quenched for approximately 106 kelvin per second the powders are as in gas atomization spherical and have an average size of 6 to 125 millimeter due to the distinctive presence of the satellites mainly low alloys powders show satisfactory results in cold forming while having a good flyability gas atomized powders on the other hand have poor green strength the next one is the centrifugal atomization the basis of the centrifugal atomization is the ejection of molten metal from the a rapidly spinning container placed a plate or disc the rotating electrode process is a further example of centrifugal automation the material in the form of the raw electrode is rotated rapidly while being melted at one end by electric arc molten metal spins off the bar and solidifies before hitting the walls of the inert gas filled outer container the process was developed primarily for the automation automation of high purity low oxygen content titanium alloys and super alloys powder particles are smooth and spherical with an average diameter of approximately 200 millimeter the size of the range is 50 to 400 micrometer typically yields uh, runs to approximately 75 percent for approximately 35 mesh powder the vacuum optimization the next one is the vacuum optimization the vacuum or solution soluble gas optimization is a commercial batch process based on the principle that when a molten metal supersaturated with the gas under pressure is suddenly exposed to vacuum the gas expands comes out of the solution and causes the liquid metal to be atomized alloy powders based on the nickel copper cobalt and iron and aluminium can be vacuum atomized with hydrogen powders are special clean and high purity compared to powders produced by other processing methods the process was developed and and patented by homogeneous metal figure illustrates the schematic of the equipment used for the atomization process the principal use of powder made by vacuum atomization has been for the production of gas turbine disc and intricate parts by injection molding thank you